Hey, welcome to another Bot Society tip. On this video, I'd like to talk about conditional blocks, what they are and how you can use them in your flow on your canvas. So one thing that is important to say is that the conditional blocks are not like the technical conditions. It's more like a condition that you're thinking rather than like a binary thing that happens in your flow or like a technical thing that you can add uh, to your conversations, like um, an API response, um, an entry point of your conversations um, or any other thing that you can think of it. So conditional blocks are basically a scenario that needs a decision point from um, the user or from um, the conversation flow itself. So the reason that we did this in a not technical uh, condition uh, is basically because we want you to focus on the conversations and uh, experiences that you are designing rather than um, thinking about the engineering part of it or like the technical decisions um, you can just use the conditional blocks as a way to speed up your creativity like the wizards of oz or something like that so you can create uh, the magic of your conversations but you don't need to think that much about the technical part of it and behind of your conversations, it's going to be like a human like you making the decisions about where your conversation is going to uh, go, right? So uh, how can you use this uh, conditional blocks on Bot Society? Let's see how. So right here, uh, this is a flow from another Bot Society tip. Uh, I just uh, made a copy copy of this flow and I'm going to design uh, from here and this is basically a chatbot that you tell a number and then the bot is going to tell you if it's uh, uh, an even or an odd uh, number so right now um, basically the user like this is a really uh, straightforward uh, flow there is no decisions behind of it and basically the user is going to say, say the number and then the bot is going to tell uh, the result right away um, one thing that we can think here, uh, like on this particular area, uh, the user might say something that is not expected, like can be not a number, right? So one condition that I can think of it is uh, to add a condition here to make sure that the user is saying a number that we expect. So to add a condition on block in your flow, you basically need to right click anywhere and then you're going to see this here, create conditional block, this option. And even there is a fork, uh, B fork uh, there you can go from to different directions. So you just click and then you can write your condition. Um, right here, I'm going to say like, is this a valid uh, number? Like uh, positive, something like this can be another thing, right? I'm just uh, trying to show you how you can leverage this. Um, and again, this is not a, a technical, it's just like a, I'm thinking uh, that something like this can happen. I can say just like, uh, yes. And also I can say something like, no. Uh, if this is a valid number, I want this uh, conversation to continue, right? So this one can continue to uh, this path here. And if it's not a valid number, let me just uh, move things around here real quick so you can see it better. Um, and if this is not a valid number, I need to tell the user like, hey, please type a number. Like, uh, re I'm going to call this repair uh, path. Like, uh, add a valid ask for a valid number. The bot's going to say something like, uh, hmm. I'm sorry, um, I wasn't, wasn't, I wasn't expecting something like this. Please type a positive number like two or three or 42, which is the answer for everything, right? <laughs> and then, uh, as I show you in another video, there is another bot to side tip about this. I'm going to connect this path back to this one here so let's just review what is happening here so you don't get confused so the conversation is going to start here right uh the bot's going to say like tell me a number the user is going to say a number uh but this number uh it might not be a valid number so we need to make sure that this is a, this is a valid uh format and it's a valid number so here i'm going to delete this connection and i'm going to yes i'm sure I'm going to connect uh, this message here 
to this uh, conditional block. So asking like, is this a valid number? If it's positive, uh, yes, it's going to continue the conversation. But if it's not a valid number or it's not positive, uh, the bot's going to ask like to, hey, can you tell me another number? <laughs> uh and then it's going back to the beginning of the conversation so let's see how this is going to happen so i'm going to press play here tell me a number the user is going to say a number right now uh, i'm thinking that the user might say uh something positive or uh i mean i'm considering that the user is going to always <laughs> press two but we can change that later uh add another eternity which is another bot society tip if you'd like to check that out uh, but yeah, as you can see, is this a valid number positive? If it's yes, uh, you can just continue. If it's no, let's just repair this conversation and go back to the beginning of the conversation. And yeah, so this is like a loop, right? It's going to make sure that the user is saying, always saying uh, the right uh, number or the right format. And if it's valid, the conversation can uh, just continue, right? So there is another decision here, like choose a scenario. So this can be also a conditional block rather than just us um, picking a scenario, right? So let me just do this again. Uh, I'm going to delete these connections here. I'm going to delete this one here. I'm going to move this uh, a little bit to the right. Selecting both of them and here in the middle, I'm going to add another conditional block here. Like, um, is this a number even or odd? So if it's an even number, I'm going to connect this with the even number flow, right? If it's an odd, I'm going to connect this with the odd. And from this path here, I'm going to connect this one to this uh, conditional block. So we can see uh, that uh, this conversation is going to continue like this. So let's just review again. So the conversation is going to start with the bot saying, tell me a number. The user is going to say a number. We're going to double check if this is a valid number or not. If it is a valid number, we continue the conversation. If it's not, we're going to ask, repair this conversation and ask for a valid format. Um, and once the user says the number, the bot's going to say something like, hmm, let me think. And then there is another decision, uh, conditional, uh, yeah, decision that we need to do, like to <laughs> understand uh, if this is a valid or not, uh, or is, is if this number is even or odd. And then we continue the conversation. So a really cool feature, feature from bot site is that we can test this flow right here from this particular point. So you can see like, once the bot says, uh, hmm, let me think, it goes directly to uh, the scenario that we yeah, can think, like if it's an even or odd number. If it goes to odd, it goes to odd, and that's it pretty much. The conversation ends here. Another thing that you can think about your conditional blocks is that these conditional blocks uh, can also be a starting uh, path for, for your conversation. So right here, for example, I can create another... Uh, conditional block like to make sure that the user know uh where uh what this experience is so i can think about something like uh, is this the first time the user is using this and then i can say something like yes and no if this is not the first time that the user is using something like this I can just click here and connect this to this first message, like tell me a number, right? But if this is the first time that the user is using this, it's important for us to write like a welcome message uh, to explain what this experience is, like welcome message. And can be something like, um, yeah, let me type something like, hey, um, Welcome uh, to the even or odd number game. You tell me a number and I will tell you if this number is even or odd. So I don't want to make this uh, a really long video, uh, but I think you got the idea, right? And from this video here, I can connect this 
to this one here. So another last thing to make this, uh, to make sure this is going to work as we expect, we need to change the starting points uh, of the paths. So we're going to have another bottom side tip uh, for that, but starting points uh, or starting paths are pretty much the first um, path that uh, the user is going to see whenever using uh, your uh, prototype or your conversation. You can have multiple starting paths and bot site is going to ask you like which one uh, this person wants to start. But for this one in particular, I want to make uh, the first thing to show not be like a path, but be like a condition, right? Like we can, we, we need to make sure that the user know what is going to happen in the conversation. So right here, uh, I'm going to right click on this condition here. And as you can see here, there's this option like marking as a starting path. And since this is a starting path for uh, this conversation, I'm going to remove this one. So I'm going to say this is not the starting path anymore. So to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to change the color of this uh, to orange. And yeah, so the next time that I start this conversation, it's going to start like this. Is this the first time the, the user is using this? If it's a yes, uh, we're going to this welcome message and then we go to the tell me a number and yeah these are pretty much the conditional blocks uh on bot society um i hope you can use this uh functionality um uh, it's pretty cool uh it helps you to yeah add some logic uh to your conversations and yeah so i'm pretty much uh curious to see how you're going to use this and I hope I can see you in another bot side tip. Bye bye.